South Korean health officials announced on Friday that they will lift the indoor mask mandate if certain conditions are met, mainly a decline in COVID-19 infections. Many had been expecting a change to the rules in mid to late January, but they didn't give any timeline. Kim jong shil reports. South Korean health officials on Friday morning decided that wearing masks indoors will be advised rather than mandatory. But this doesn't mean masks can be taken off immediately, as officials are still to decide when exactly the mandate will be eased or even lifted. What's been considered is a two-step process. Step one is making masks optional except for places like medical facilities, pharmacies and on public transport. Step two is lifting the indoor mask mandate completely when the COVID-19 alarm level is lower to orange or yellow from the current red. But medical experts said this winter isn't the right time, especially with case numbers being as high as they are. The reason the pandemic is continuing is because of the new variants. Until now, we had Alpha, Delta and Omicron variants. Most recently, we had BN1 and BQ1 variants, so the pandemic continues. The best indicator for an endemic is when there are no more variants. He also stressed the importance of wearing masks. Wearing masks prevents you from catching the virus, but it also protects those around you, so they're definitely worth wearing. The lifting of the indoor mask mandate can always be done when there are no more variants and we have fewer cases. It doesn't require much preparation, so there's no need to rush into it. Health authorities expect case levels to peak in January, and then if there's an overall decline for two weeks, another meeting can be held with infectious disease experts. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.